Hi all, just a very quick update. Thought I'd uh, show you all my new, new little toy. So I've shut down the Marinus. It's looking very sad. And got myself a new Aqua One Mini Reefer 120, which I set up yesterday. I've used ATN Colony on it and got the fish in and the corals. The thing I'm most excited about isn't just the fact I've got more space. I've got proper decent protein skimmer and a little refugium. So I've put Miracle Mud in it. Got plenty of macroalgae in there. I've got some more on order. Uh, just going to see what happens with that one. Hopefully good stuff will happen. Got copepods all ordered. Um, amphipods and a couple of other bits and bobs. And the old light from the Marinus on there. So pretty chuffed with that. And... Uh, J Bow, I think it's pronounced. Over there, just uh, doing its thing. It's got really nice flow on it. I've had to turn. This is on its lowest setting, and this is the smallest one you can get. So you know that's that's some pretty powerful stuff. But yeah, it's coming along quite nicely. Sorry, just it's quite close to my bed, so I'm having to move in. There's Gary the bristle worm. The first inhabitant of the Marinus that I saw. He's having a lovely time. I've got some of the bargain corals that I got. Me and a mate went 40 pounds each and literally got a tank full of, of corals. So most of them are at his at the moment. He's off um, cataloguing discus and other such lovelies in Colombia at the moment. Lucky, lucky man, I shall say, so I don't swear. Uh, so I'll get all of those when he gets back in a few weeks. Most of the corals are sulking at the moment, like the Duncans. I've just had to move those around. Um, ordered a scalpel and a fragging kit so that I can get my beautiful pallies, as you can see there. Can't get those off the rock. The most I managed was a, a very, very small bit there, which I've just had to reattach to the rock work, so hopefully that will stop sulking soon. The coral gobies have stopped fighting as much. Um, everyone seems kind of happy. Well, it's probably famous last words there. Yeah, this is one of the bits of awesome coral that I got there. Kenya in a leather in an absolutely beautiful barnacle shell. So hopefully that empty shell will get used as a home soon. The watchman goby still in there. Unfortunately, without his pistol shrimp companion who didn't make it. There's no sign of him in the tank and no sign of the second pom pom crab, but Buffy the pom pom's still in there, so well chuffed about that. At least she survived. Uh, I've got two uh, yellow jawfish on order from TMC, so my local maidenhead will get those in for me at some point. So I'm going to get some more sand in there. I've put live sand and sand from the old tank in. Put a bit more sand in to get the sand bed up over here. And uh, probably can't see it very well. No, but yeah. Through there, I've uh, made another little mound. So hopefully, the jawfish will get their territories all sorted. I have asked for a male and female pair, so fingers crossed with that one. Because that'd be quite a nice little breeding project. Um. Yeah, cracking little tank. The only issue I had was I followed the instructions to the letter. Always a bad move. And they said to fill the tank up first, etc, etc. And then do the lights. Yeah. When it's against a wall, it's not very easy to put uh, lighting brackets on the back of a tank. So I had to wait for a right angle screwdriver to arrive and do it that way. Because uh, they were wood screws. And these panels, very tough, so I could only fit a couple of the wood screws in because there weren't enough holes on the back. Yeah. But, yeah. Apart from that, it's all been great. I've had to use the old Danelle heater because the Aqua One heater that came with it appears to be very, very temperamental. I, I took it back into the Maidenhead Aquatics in South Sea to get swapped and they tested it and it worked so I went okay I'll give it another try for a couple of days it works for about five minutes if you turn it right up 
and then when you turn it back down to a normal thing it just doesn't want to work so yeah might be just using the Denel one overall brilliant tank uh, very very basic instructions came with it and so for a I call, still call myself a first timer with this. It was a little bit tricky with setting things up. I've uh, been YouTubing a lot, luckily. I've got several new coral frags on the way, which I got in a sale. So they'll be arriving next week. And uh, yeah, hopefully be able to give you another update soon. So yeah, it's just that. Shrimp tank is looking. There we go. Pretty bagging. Not a lot of shrimp in there after a massive, massive. I, I don't. We still don't know what happened. Whether it was stuff that I added to the tank or whether it was um, lack of oxygen during the night. But I lost pretty much all of the shrimp. But uh, the lovely people at Shrimp and Scape and TN at uh, Shrimp Corner were kind enough to send me a couple of freebies each along with an order. So, yeah, slowly restocking it. Hopefully it'll look very, very beautiful with lots of shrimp in. But I'll just show you something very cool that's happened. This bit of chola wood on the right. I did the usual, put some moss on it, put some puce on it. When I did the first trimming of all of the kuba there, some of the clippings got stuck in the moss and now they appear to be growing down, get on focus, yeah they appear to be growing down like vines so I'm going to try and do a whole one just as a kind of jungle vibe vine thingy, so that should be pretty cool once it's all done, but yeah definitely needs a trim. It's been quite difficult as I'm currently suffering from broken ribs so yeah this was this was a trial shall we say. Yeah, I'm waffling now, probably the painkillers, but all in all, really, really, really happy. So hopefully, it's my birthday in a couple of weeks, hopefully I'll get another Maidenhead gift card, and I can get some more bits and bobs for this. So I'll try and do a proper video at some point about some of the stuff that's in here, but until then, happy reefing, bye bye.